You ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You ready? <clears throat> We'll be straight. We'll be ready. Going live in three, two, one. We're live. Good evening, Los Santos. My name is Dickhead alongside Forehead, Ming, and Peter. We witnessed a tragic event today where BSK got absolutely destroyed by the Ballas. Now, we just talked to OTT covered in his own blood, and he. He himself said that one drop of his blood bleeds more purple than any of these Balos. He's also claimed <laughs> that the Balos only wake up to go to war. What are your thoughts? Uh, first of all, I got to say, I want to thank my mama. I want to thank my auntie, Jermaine. Uh, shit, man. Uh, who else I got to thank? I got to thank all the homies standing behind me for the good times. Um, and uh, I, I got to say, Salam alaikum, my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody around the world. And to answer your question, my brother, I got to tell you something, man. You see that block that, that LTT claiming? That block belongs to Purple. And at any moment, if we decided to, because clearly, clearly you could see who's in the upper hand in this war. You feel okay. me? What are your so, uh, What are your thoughts on so DSK's? Let, let, let me just oh, continue. Are you let not me done? just continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I'm go not ahead. doing so at any moment, my brother, we could go over there and be like, hey, listen, man, rent is due. You know what I'm saying? Oh, OTT claimed my baby mama porch, man. That, that, that house he lives in, that main big boss house, that was my baby mom's. You know what I'm saying? He, she got evicted. All the bullshit happened. You know what I'm saying? We was like, you know what? You know what? We throw them a bone. Uh, you know, we need more presence in the house. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker said a drop of his red blood bleeds more purple than everybody around here when his ass is laid out face flat on the motherfucking floor. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know what, what he talked about. I don't know how he could talk his shit when he can't even back it. He's just all mouth, all out of tune, no fucking action. That's it. Is that, okay. Uh, I got another question for you. Yeah, what's the question, man? What about the allegations that BSK are making about the Ballas that you guys are going to other counties just to have people come in to fight your wars? Okay. I'm sorry. What? Yep. What? Yo, yo, bro. Straight what are BS. these questions? Yep. What? Yep. That's a good question. All right, cool. No, no. You know what? It is. It is a good question. It's a good I'll question. Tell you what. I tell you what. You settle yourself allegations, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't nothing serious. You know what I'm saying? People gonna get mad. You know how it is. I don't even blame them for saying shit like that. Cause if if I was getting my ass fucking laid out all fucking day by a bunch of motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I would say the same shit. I'd be mad, bro. I'd be like. I, Fuck, man, like, how can a group of guys be better than me? You know what I'm saying? As a man, you know what I mean? You you a grown-ass man, you know what I'm saying? If if you know, if you look at somebody and you know they're better than you in all types of ways, financially, physically, uh, looks, everything, bro, you be, you look at them, you be like, fuck, man, like, I, I just despise this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's human nature, it's testosterone, you feel me? So I feel like I feel it came out of a place of anger from all the Toon Tyrone and, and, and the other boy band motherfuckers. But I'm gonna tell you something, man. All that shit, allegations, you know what I mean? All the motherfuckers standing behind me been here for years. And and, and forehead, you know me, man. You you know how long I've been on this fucking block. Motherfuckers just talk shit, man. Okay, and that one last question. Would you rather have taste buds on your butthole or never get a boner again? You go, Uh taste buds on my butthole. Well, you heard it here first. Hood news coming live. Down at the sack where we've got the victors of the current war. Or is that the battle, right? Well, how does this war end? How does this war end? Oh, uh, let me tell you something real quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, you know what? I ain't even gonna speak much. I'm gonna pass it down to my homie Taylor right here. You know what I mean? He gonna tell you how this war gonna end. Listen, man. The only way this war's gonna end is when the bullers rule Berg Street again. That's it. That's what I'm saying. You heard it here first. The ballers are gonna clap them till they don't wake up anymore. Yep. This is yeah. been. Uh, dickhead with hood news. Fly shooter gang. He saw it. Okay. Good shit, boy. Cut! Um, uh, nice. Muted. It sounded like you forgot who he was there for a second. Um. Yeah, I don't think that recording is going out. You know, that one's gonna be just. That one. That one's not uh, going out. That was... Yeah, um, it's, it's <clears throat> fucked up one, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, listen, I'd like to, uh, Dickhead, go back to the car real quick over there. Guys. Yep. All right, go ahead.
Now I'd like to uh, formally apologize for my reporter over there. It's his first day on the job. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You good, um, you good. <laughs> I didn't know the questions that were going to be asked. You know what I mean? Uh, he was, he like was to, asking the real heartening questions, man. He, yeah, yeah. I'd like to formally apologize, you know, on, uh, on the behalf of Hood News. Um, yeah, yeah. Next time we do an interview, I bring a different reporter, okay? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, no, but we're good, man. We're good. Yeah, yeah, we right. have fun. We have fun. All right, guys.